I took ah <clears throat> coffee came out, hit me kind of hard. October thirtieth, twenty twenty two. I'm seeing. I'm gonna try to upload this as soon as possible. Hopefully, you know. But I wrote it down because uh, but first let me start off. Yeah, I just um, for some reason I just went for looking for my uh my cat. And, you know, it's like people manipulate haunts and you know this and that. I go there. And this happened about year, well, year and a half ago over the winter. I noticed it was like when I thought it was a helicopter over my head. A couple times, at least I felt it, you know. I made and I heard a sound, and a uh, Martha Scrupa and Donna Nemec were over, over my house, you know. They're like what helicopter, you know. But anyway, it's like someone's trying to relay messages me to me, like you know. Run for at least a, go around the block or a mile or two miles and you'll be okay. We'll let you go. No, but it's not about that. It's just like for months, like once in a while, it just randomly would we'll look outside the window and there was a car, not a car, but several cars, even once I think a minivan. And you know, with like a back tire almost blocking the driver, just sticking out lightly. You always would part and it was just like on, 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 on you know, I'm on Lawrence Street, so it was on our side and it's like, you know, they're almost blocking the driver, but not entirely. And they would just stop, and I would just, I would just think something. Like, or I would, once I open the window, it was like, and they just would drive away. And you know, and like a couple minutes ago, I mean, I wrote the exact time. It was a uh, ten twenty that ten twenty five that I wrote it down, but it was like at ten twenty or something like that. I saw the guy, and it was like a, I think it was a Honda Civic, you know, uh, or a quarter rather, because uh, it was a coupe. You know, it was a dark, dark green, or I think it was dark green, but it's it's dark, so I couldn't see it. But you know, it, it just weird. It was it was it was just parked there too. <clears throat> I was looking for my cat, but I started walking up to it, and you know, I just uh, and I just thought to myself, "You in there? Then come out." Because he was like, you know, I'm here or something. And he just, you know, the car, you know, had his lights that was running. There was a guy in there, and then he just, you know, he made a legal, he made a U-turn. I mean, I did too, and he just drove away. You know, I know you people can hear my mind. We get out of that. And people tell me, you know, it's like, you know, uh, they sense my thoughts. They hear my thoughts. And you're going to go up to my house and you're going to sit there and watch me. You know, last year, a year ago, people do that quick check and roll away. There's like five, six, seven cars next to me. And they just, you know, just be like that. Like, you know, it's like, you know, you you, <laughs> you ESP my thoughts. And, you know, and I got, you know, I'm doing something private. Like, well, how creepy are you? You know, how disturbed mentally are you? You know, would you have the guts to get out of the car? Like, I, I would have told you to. Or you want me to see me get angry and start throwing rocks at you or some shit? Like, that's stalking, bro. What am I, you're an internet celebrity? Or, like, you want you want to see me, like, think about stuff? Or, like, well, what are you doing? Like, and if people try to instigate, like, I should get a gun. You honestly think I'm going to get a gun and, like, what? Just start shooting? Or if he comes over, like, I'm just going to gun clap him or some shit? Anyway, you had New Jersey plates, and it was P64 LLH. I remember that. Dark green Honda uh, sedan, possibly. October 30, 22, uh, 10.28 p.m. Park by side of driveway. It didn't look like it was scratched. It had tints on, including in the front. Passenger, I think, and the driver as well. I said, like, why should you even have tints? At least I think, because it was dark, and I, I didn't even look through the window. I just, you know... I did shine on the registration plates. You know, I had my uh, flashlight here. I was standing like, you no, know, 10, 12 feet away from him on my driveway. I shot shine on the registration plates. I saw it. I was like, all right. And I walked away. And then, you know, I had, you know, I, I, I mean, I guess I know for a fact he can read my mind, he can hear my thoughts. But he sense whatever I'm feeling, you know. It's like I have a pride moment. And I'm a, that's one of these where, you know, I, I don't want to get a girlfriend. Like, what are these creeps going to do? You know, I feel... I touch her, they feel her. It's disturbing what you people are, you know? I mean, but you know, I don't care if you're diseased and the brain just deceased or just, you know, stalkerish type, just creepy, bro. Like, what the fuck? You know, it's like, what What would happen if I would be, like, working with that guy? Like, Jesus, man. It's disturbing, bro. Right? That's the kind of thing, you know, I want to, like, you know, just look at you. Eventually, you know, talk to me, I'll make fun of you. That's what I'm going to do. I'm not gonna put a go fighter on you. I wonder what he would do. You know? And you wonder, you know, I had that video. 
Except I didn't record these two guys. They're just sitting cars and doing the same thing. And you know, I walked up to him. I knocked on the window and it's like, what are, you, what are you doing? And the guy just looked at me like, like with a little, a little smile. It was just like so sinister and creepy, bro. It's like, you're like three cars away and you have your headlights on, man. You know, in a place where people just park. And you sit there hanging out. You know, and before people didn't really park, they don't care. Maybe people could on because it was free parking. I don't even care. You're like, you're hanging out there. And I went back to the spot and there was just someone hanging out. And, and they actually were. Maybe they were smoking. But these guys just had the window rolled up and they were just sitting there. And just, you know, and they couldn't look me in, in the face. And, you know, honestly, like, before that, I, I kind of went in there to talk to them. But I went into the pits. I know where the pits. It's just like, you know, I know that where they're staring at me or something. Or you just, you know, you want to, like, read my mind while I'm pissing. You know, should I just like <laughs> make a YouTube, YouTube video when I'm gonna go to the bathroom to make it easier for some of you, so you can you know <laughs> hear my thoughts and you know, I mean you know I don't I mean <laughs> crap but you know I, I mean uh, <laughs> let's say I'm gonna say what I jerk off <laughs> months ago people are like nah nah don't do that <laughs> it's like what do you wanna interfere with my sexual fantasies I mean fuck I mean I some people wanna like kill her or hurt my cat even I mean it's beyond that you're a double demonic you're fucking retarded. I always said, whoever is the devil, considering an evil, he's a bitch, he's a, he's a monster. You're monsters, you're creepers. But if I really was like a celebrity that had some money, I mean, I'm not saying I'm going to arrest you, but like what? You taking pictures of me and you stalk a Razi? You know, it's like, what, you want me to like get, you know, uh, call somebody, call the cops? I don't do that. You know, somebody else probably would. Who knows, maybe hire somebody to get, you know, get your ass beat and legs broken. You really want to go through that? You know, you don't care, right? If you're in a wheelchair in a hospital and you're laying for like two weeks. And you recover, you do the same thing again. Like, are you fucking that deluded and retarded? You know? You know, see, in this country, United States, because you are absolutely retards. You really are. Especially healthcare and, you know, law enforcement. You have to be a female and she'll have to get stalked and panicked and chances are you wouldn't believe her. But that's harassment. This is it. This is totally normal. And I'm probably a faggot because I didn't hit him in the mouth with this, right? Yeah. See, I'm not like your little pigs. And he has a little delusion in his head, I think. Like, we got him. Oh, it's a hoops there. Like, bro, you're fucking like two, three years old, man. Grow the fuck up, bro. Go to your wife, girlfriend. I don't know. Go, go, go do something with yourself. Leave me the fuck alone. I, on the average, I got two and one views on a YouTube video. What do your retards want to do? I mean, think about stupid shits you entertain. Don't you have fucking, you know, I don't know, uh, uh, you know, Netflix or something, bro? Like, I don't know, read a book. But, you know, you're probably you're illiterate, so, you know, it, it, it angers you and frustrates you. You know, and you just confused. I mean, you're like, do, do your eyes work? And, like, can you, like, grasp a picture? How do you watch a movie and put things together? <laughs> or just sense what somebody else like me is watching, you know? And what if I think stupid retarded shit and the whole country starts saying stupid retarded shit, you know? Actually, that's how you get off bite <laughs> with Joe Biden. If you don't, then you're just a fucking idiot. <laughs> just, oh. <laughs> I mean, what if I thought that? Would you start <laughs> doing you blaming me an asshole? Uh, why am I an asshole? <laughs> yeah, you know, man. Uh, three, 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 eight, you usually you have to be backwards. <laughs> that too. <laughs> Wait for it. <laughs> yeah, but uh, it, it was just creepy, you know. And he was alone. He was, I didn't see anybody in the passenger in the back. So it's like you know, after ten, you just like show him to a random guy's house, and you're like watching him, you know. And, and like yeah, winter, uh, winter, last winter or something like that, you know. Even before last winter, two winters ago, those pe a lot of people were doing it, just pulling up. Like a couple of seconds or even a minute or two, and they would just leave. They wouldn't get out of the car, they would stand there, engine running, and they would just drive off. Happened multiple times. Like, how fucking retarded, like creepy, all right? What do you get out of that? Is it like you're closer to me and you could, like, <laughs> you know, ET my thoughts better? <laughs> it's ESP, but you could call it ET now. It's what's in right now. <laughs> it's the cool thing. You know, like, well, what are they? You get closer, you get better reception <laughs> to my brain. <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, shit. Like, uh, and <laughs> they just say, you know, fucking tune dude with the tinfoil. Well, stop fucking fucking reading my thoughts. I mean, what else am I supposed to put my head in a microwave? <laughs> shit. <laughs> you know, I'm working with a aluminum steel ball. <laughs> you with know, fucking, you know, porters and shit. See, we told ya. <laughs> you know, you know. <laughs> but you guys. You know, the like guys are fucking creepy, and what's with the cell phone? You're like, look at him. 
<laughs> whenever I'm thinking so crazy retarded shit. <laughs> you know, like, I don't know, she's like, yeah, you gonna deal with Cartoon Network? Probably not. <laughs> to entertain you in your little life? Because <laughs> you just freaking realize, wow, what if I hear his thoughts? Well, he's a retard, so it's okay. <laughs> Jesus, man. I mean, you know, you know, the, the crazy part is last time mom told me, you know, she was sleeping and someone was either in the front of the door and they were just shining a flashlight. And she woke me up. I mean, she, I was awake actually. She, she came from my mom and said, Did you, were, you upstairs, were, you, uh, were you upstairs with like a flashlight or something? I said, No. So it's because she saw a light, you know, permeating through the house. I mean, it was like, What am I supposed to do? No, I'm not going to get a dog, but, you know, if I can, what am I supposed to just watch outside? You know, who the fuck are you to come to the house and like shine a light through the window? Or you, you could get your head cracked for that, nigga. Maybe me say the N-word, but I actually enjoy it. That's some stalkish creepy shit that's getting worse. And yeah, it's another thing. Like, I know you send shit, Claire Yobbs. Whenever I think of some shit, how you fag and retarded your little husband or boyfriend is, don't try to, like, make me feel like, feel myself. I know I can't prove it, but you're creepy as hell, Claire. And I know the people call you Karen and shit. You think creepy some shit. I know how you view people. You're a fucking idiot. You know? Anyway, it's not even angry, just guys, people are fucking disturbing, man. I'm not a violent person, but maybe those people that tell me to get a gun, maybe I should. You know, I get a gun license, I just, you know, I'm a private property, things got on line, you know. Things can happen, like you get shot in the foot and get clubbed in the fucking face. I gotta defend myself. And what are you gonna fucking, what, arrest me, officer? Considering you fucking, you know, aren't scared, the shit you fag has been doing to me. You really wanna get shot, bro? I never shot a gun, I never shot anybody, but fuck it. I don't mind slapping the fuck out of you in the fucking face if you violate and you, oh yeah, you try to make me feel that shit. You know? You, you violate, you come with a flashlight to my house, you pull it, what the fuck your retards think you're doing, bro? I'm not your little hoe. You're the fucking hoe. You trying to suck my dick or some shit. Go fuck yourself and get a whore. Get a motel room. But you know, I don't, don't post any on Facebook because you know, they're arrest you. Fucking idiots.